Hello guys, today on 1990s Chaplin, I'll be going over my modular sleep system, MSS. This is dated 2003, but these were invented or introduced around 1997 to 1998. Um, you can find them at surpluses. This one was unissued. Um, so, brand new. There's the compression sack tag. This is a um, tri-piece thing so there's an intermediate bag which is this one that is black um for 30 degrees to negative 10 this is the just basic i don't know what they call it control bag which is goes down to 30 degrees um and can be pretty comfortable to up to 70 otherwise it gets too hot and then the gore-tex Woodland cover, and then obviously the compression sack. So each piece has a um, set of buckles, about six, and so you make different configurations. So I'll just show the tag for the bivy cover. Um, there's this. This is Gore-Tex again. Um, Intermediate bag, no, not intermediate, um, control bag. Um, and again, these are all day 2003, but same stuff used in the 90s. Um, different configurations um, for really cold winter, use all three. You buckle this one, this one, this. Anytime you're using all three, the black always goes on the inner, inner piece. Um, you can do these two, just this, um, just this, anything you really want to. Um, I'll go ahead and pack it up, show you guys how you can press it. It's really easy to buckle it. Um, you'll get it. You'll get the hang of it once you do it. And there are. You can still find these again unissued. Used ones aren't too bad actually. Um, that, these are really easy to find because the ACU ones are around. And I'm pretty sure they might have a OCP by now. So I think so. Um, so again, I fold the Gore-Tex up um, in there at the bottom. Then, since it is a compression sack, you're gonna want to just loosely shove these in. If you live in an area where it's hot most of the time, um, put the green at the top. But for me, it's okay with the black. So. Make it convenient for yourself. And I don't recommend storing it for more than two weeks compressed because your batting um, insulations will get compressed and it won't be as good as it was. So for me, I store it like this. But if you're just going out to the field, you want to tie it down. You really want to. Keep in mind, the tighter you make it height-wise, the wider it will get. And the narrower you make it, it will be longer for the most part. Give or take a few. But you kind of just take these, make sure they don't get caught. Very easy. So if you want it to fit on the bottom of your ruck or your top, like this, then just loosely do these. That way it doesn't get too fat. Otherwise it does. And then bam, that's normally what I would do. Start at the top and the bottom. So as you can tell with Alex, not too bad. But when you start to go like this, it will get wider. 
these compression sacks are excellent for clothing as well, especially in your A bag or B bag. But as you can tell, I'm getting lighter. If you do it right, I'm able to fit this in the bottom of the inside compartment of my large Alice. Um, so yeah, this is basically it. So again, if you throw a lot of winter patrols or um, events, you're going to want to make sure anytime you're not using it in the field, always want to store it like this. Or even in, in like a loose bag, or your laundry bag even may work. But you just want to make sure it's not fully compressed at all times. Um, again, really excellent piece. Um, I recommend it. I've slept in below zero with this. It kept me warm and with my polypros on. But yeah, um, it's very waterproof. I've slept in rain with this. Um, so yeah, excellent piece. And I recommend it very well. And please subscribe and watch more of 1990s Chaplin. Thank you.